Hi guys, my name is Arco Flamingo and in this video I will be sharing my 5 favorite macOS features. Keep in mind that I've been a macOS user for about 2 months now, so some of these features may feel a little bit old or redundant to you, but trust me, to new macOS users, they are really new and they are cool. Before I get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who liked the previous video, which, by the way, it's also about Apple. It is why I bought my 2015 MacBook Pro in 2022, so thank you to everyone everyone who liked that video, who subscribed to the channel because it means a lot. Now let's get into this video. So the first one is the animated Memoji character. So before, you know, as a Windows user, I really didn't have a fun lock screen. And even now, when I transitioned to the Mac OS, I just had a typical passcode on the lock screen, so I didn't even know that you could customize it up to this point. So this feature is more fun than it's actually useful, but it's pretty cool. In System Preferences, you can go under Users and Groups to find find settings for the lock screen. Here you can choose an emoji person of yourself on the lock screen which Apple calls Memoji. Essentially you can customize a character to look just like you from the shape of your head to hairstyle and color. So next time you want to log into your laptop you're going to be greeted by none other than yourself watching you type in your passcode. The second feature is quick note. Now this is nothing revolutionary. We all have been taking notes on our phones and laptops and computers for a very long time but what I really like about this one it is a great time saver and works wonders in situations when you're in a hurry to jot something down. So in whichever window or app you are, just move your mouse to the lower right corner of the screen and quick notes will appear. Just one click and start writing whatever your important note may be. It's pretty cool. And it's quick. The third one is trackpad gestures. Apple's laptops have something unique when it comes to their trackpads. I have used quite a lot of Windows laptops. None of them really performed as good as this MacBook Pro. I think it's pretty safe to say that Apple has some of the best, if not the best, trackpads on their laptops. So I mentioned that I'm really happy when it comes to the trackpad in the previous video. Just using it in everyday situations for scrolling, zooming, and so many other things, I find it pretty amazing. What is really interesting are these gestures that you can use just to kind of make everything feel a little bit smoother and quicker when you're doing your everyday tasks. So you can double click on a window to maximize it. You can also switch through windows in Safari, which is a great feature if you're anything like me and you have a lot of tabs open and you don't even know what's open and what's not. So you can swipe left or right with two fingers. You can go back and forth. Another thing is, this is not a trackpad gesture, but I put it here because it's really nice and I didn't have a special category for it. If you want to preview a photo, a file, or a video, you can just click on that file and hold spacebar and it will preview that file and once you release spacebar it will go away. So again, a great time saver. Now by swiping to the left from the right of the trackpad, you can open the notification center with the calendar, weather, and so on. By using a three finger swipe up, you can see all the open windows currently and you can easily jump from one to the other, whilst a five finger outward swipe will hide all your windows. Though this doesn't seem as the most comfortable gesture for me personally because I do have a little bit of bigger fingers so sometimes they won't get registered so I don't tend to use this feature that much. But it's also cool if you do a five finger swipe inwards you can open the launch pad with all of your apps. This next one is nothing revolutionary either, but I just like that it's integrated into the Mac OS. I have a Windows PC and I take a lot of screenshots and there's that feature from the notification center that you can access which is called, what is it called? Screen snip. It's called screen snip. So you can just use that feature to just snip a part of your window or take a screenshot of the whole window if needed. Now you can do that as well in Apple by using a couple of shortcuts, Command Shift 4. But if you wanted to record the screen, I personally don't think that there is a Windows built in feature to record the screen on Windows OS. Here, I again just use a shortcut and it starts recording. So the shortcut is Command Shift 4. And that's actually how I recorded all of these b-roll shots. So we're already at the fifth one. Media player in the toolbar. Doesn't seem like much at first, but honestly, when you can control all of the media which is being played on your laptop or computer at once from one place without having to leave your other windows that you're working on currently, it really is a time saver. Personally, I think it's these small features that make macOS a much smoother experience for its users. And so you can do all of these things in or through 
through special or third-party apps but having that integrated within the system is really a time saver okay so i'm gonna give you a bonus one i guess it's not a feature per se but it is something that when i found out i really utilize it to my advantage so again being a windows user i became used to having all of my files organized in folders according to their name or date and they would just kind of snap to some grid that existed but when i started using a mac i noticed that files really don't snap to anything you can just lay them out there in a folder or even on the desktop according to really whatever you want to do at first it was a little bit annoying i was like why are these just like it's so messy it seems a little bit cluttered but then i was like i could do something with this i created something similar to mind maps by organizing files of similar character around one file or just in a circle or in a corner of that folder. Now I have all of my presentations or Word documents in one circle so I know what they're connected to or I can put them in one corner of the folder as well. So not a feature and I don't know maybe this is kind of obvious to some but to me it was something new that I wasn't used to so I decided to use it to my advantage. Okay so this was a quick one so thank you for watching. If you like these features and if you find any of them useful you can like this video, you can share it but also subscribe to to the channel which would really help me out a lot now if you have any of your features that you would like to share with us leave a comment down below and tell us what your favorite feature on the mac os is thank you for watching and bye